Thank you very much, Kel. All right, it's all about the Aloha spirit and fashion. You see, all over downtown and in business meetings, we're talking about the Aloha shirt. But how did it get started and what's the latest trend? Because as they say in fashion, one day you're in, the next day you're out. Joining us this morning is Dale Hope, author of the Aloha shirt, who will be hosting a special panel session on the Aloha shirt. Dale, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You bet. Thanks for having us. First off, what can you tell us about this panel session that's happening at Ward Village? Well, tonight we're going to have probably for the first time in maybe 20 years where mm -hmm. all the garment manufacturers here in Hawaii are getting together to discuss the Aloha shirt and making shirts in Hawaii today. We'll have Sig Sane and his son Kuhau from the Big Island, Western mm -hmm. Aloha, a new maker uh, who's making great Aloha shirts. Uh, the gals from Keala Pico on Molokai. And then our, our legendary favorites, Surfline Kahala, that have been here since uh, the industry kind of started. And how did this partnership with Ward Village start? Um, it was really due to Zach Noyle, who, you know, is a great surf photographer today, probably the world's best surf photographer, um, was meeting with the people at Ward, at um, Howard Hughes. And they wanted to do an exhibit with Aloha shirts. And he said, oh, we got to call Uncle Dale. <laughs> so I got a phone call and said, hey, can you be at Ward tomorrow? And I said, sure. And, you know, it's just been great. They've done a fantastic job of showcasing um, a great period of Aloha shirts over the last 70 years. And what can people expect to learn at the discussion as well as the beautiful exhibit that they have there? Oh, I think, you know, we're going to be able to hear from the people that actually made these shirts you know, what it's like to be a garment manufacturer in Hawaii. It's a challenging business. It's not easy. It's like all businesses in Hawaii. You know, it comes with a, a set of challenges. Um, but I think you're going to be able to talk to some of the most innovative people today making our shirts that will uh, give you some insights as to what it's like to be a shirt maker. And give us some insight real quickly. When was the Aloha shirt created and by who? Oh, that's an age-old question. <laughs> You know, that's a big debate, but El Richun registered the name back in the mid-30s. And um, there's a lot of other guys that claim that they had a hand in making the first Aloha shirt, too. So. And the long-sleeve Aloha shirts are pretty trending nowadays, popular. Well, I think it, you know, we don't need to wear a coat and tie anymore. We can, <laughs> you know, this can be our island tuxedo. I'll uh, let you talk to our bosses. <laughs> All right, so if, We're you wanna, on <laughs> so if you want to learn about the history of the Aloha shirt, you can join Dale and others tonight at a special panel event. It kicks off at 6 o'clock tonight at the IBM Courtyard. For more information, just visit our website at kh12.com. And at this panel session, no suits allowed, correct? No suits. And I'll, just... I'll lend you a shirt. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Dale. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Aloha. All right, coming up next, we'll have a quick